If you're sitting bored in your cab all day and you need something to get you through your day, check out Sweat and Grime on any of your podcasting platforms. We geared it to be entertaining and focused on the trades. We're not trying to teach you anything. We're not trying to get you to have a phenomenal working business. We just want you to have a good time. So check us out, Sweat and Grime, on any of your podcasting platforms. We appreciate it. Now, here's your video. channel today's down and dirty we're going to talk about exposing utilities so we've got a residential gas line that runs right through this area here and uh, we're going to work on exposing it and this little line here uh, is about the thickness of your pinky finger so you want to be nice and gentle and delicate with these so what Rick's going to do is just clear off some of the excess material on the top but he's not going to go very deep because we've seen these lines be as shallow as two or three inches before so we're not going to get aggressive He's just taking the extra material so that I can do some hand digging. So when you go to expose these utilities, by the way, you're gonna have to sit where that camera can see me while I'm digging. So when you're exposing utilities like this, um, we're going to dig across. So you're gonna dig perpendicular to the utility. So the utility's running this direction here. I'm going to dig across because we wanna cover our basically three foot on each side of the utility and I'm gonna hand dig down see if I can find it once I know that we're safe for you know maybe 10 inches to a foot I'll have Rick come in and take that material all right let me do some hand digging so we're gonna have him come in and take the material once I know he's safe so what I'm gonna do here is oh wait tree roots are gonna make this really fun so I'm just gonna go down and I'm gonna start. Oh, there's the invisible fence. Should be a root and an electric fence. Yeah, that's the invisible fence there. So we found it. Oh, these tree roots are gonna be a blast on this one. So we're just gonna dig down about eight inches all the way across where this utility is running. And in a situation like this where you've got tree roots and a gas line that's the size of your pinky finger, don't get aggressive thinking you're going through a root. Be you'll delicate. Start, you'll start prying up on a gas line thinking it's a tree root. Yep, and you don't want to pop your tree roots. Or you don't want to pop your gas line thinking it's a tree root. Ask me how I know. <laughs> how do you know, Brian? <laughs> And you're gonna go well beyond where you think the uh, actual line is. I know that line's running right through here. We're gonna go a couple feet beyond it. 811 up here in Michigan wants you to dig four feet each way of a flag. Four feet each way is what Rick's saying. 811 wants you to dig on each side of the utility. How far have we had those flags off before? Oh, well, we've had them off five or six feet. <clears throat> By the way, take pictures of your missed dig flags, everyone. Do yourself a favor. Because when you hit the utility. We'll explain that. No one is gonna do you any favors. We'll so explain always, that in Dirt University. Yeah, always take pictures. Guys, this is the one of the few times you'll catch Mr. Furnace digging for utilities. That's right. Savor it. for the video. Savor it. You about six inches? Yeah, I'm about six inches. Let me take it right back here. All right, so I'm going to let him come in and take all the excess material. Why are we peeling it back like an onion? What are you talking about? 
Why is the digger taking an inch at a time instead of just going all the way down? Well, you can just say it. You don't have to. We're peeling her back just like an onion. In case so, we hit a rock, the hydraulics go up and down if we catch on something, snag something. Well, you also notice he's not digging at full speed, and there's a reason for that, because if he hooks onto something, I've got to have time to wave him off. I wouldn't go any deeper than that. We're gonna pull in the machine, guys. We're gonna actually pull extremely slow because of the fact sometimes Brian or myself or the labor or the guy you're working with, if you pull extremely slow in a machine, We've come right across the top and shaved part of these gas lines every once in a blue moon, not very often. Or once in a while, the guy that's spotting, he could see a glimpse of something, whether it was a tracer wire, the color yellow, black, seeing a pipe of some sort. Um, you know it's there. So getting overly aggressive and getting impatient, this is, this is one of the things that any profit on a job could go sideways real quick if you get into a lawsuit. You got a feel for what the bill is for consumers to come out and patch this up? Not even close. I bet you're in it at least 2,500 bucks. Oh, you're more than that. Think so? You got the natural gas line bill that you're gonna pay for? Well, that's true. You got, let's just talk today. Today's holiday. Oh yeah, and so they're you're gonna, gonna be ship on a crew rates. of five for a one-man job. You're probably twenty-five grand. Oh, you think that high? Yeah. Time you're paying triple time, and they sit here for eight hours for something you and I can pinch off. Yeah. That could be. Nope, it's not. It's a big root. Consumers actually been pretty fair for us to work with. Yeah, consumers even when we hit a couple gas lines here and there, not due to our fault. Even though we hit them, it was our fault. Um, just mismarked, mislocation. If it looks like an actual trench and you guys were hand digging and you could, it really just shows that you were exposing the utilities. These guys deal with these breaks every day and. Uh, a lot of little guys, they'll go to bat for you, saying, no, look, there's evidence they were hand digging. There's the excavator trench. That's where they went down with the shovel. I've had, uh, I haven't really broke too many with the machine. I probably blew up about five or six of my life with a machine. Uh, probably one or two with a gas line. We hit with uh, one once was a shovel. We put the tip of it right through it. And then we had one trench that was probably about 25 foot wide. We're about, I don't even remember. Probably 20 foot deep because it was all sand. And uh, a rock come flying down and hit that gas line. And that's all it took. Looked like a fire hose when it hit, just blowing all over the place. If you ever hit one of these lines, most likely the guy that's down there hand digging or watching is going to get some dirt in his face, some eyes. It's going to smell like rotten eggs real quick and it's going to get pretty loud. So this is where it gets fun because we got a bunch of tree roots in here that we got to pull through. So you're good to pull through those tree roots right there. be extremely careful because even pulling those tree roots those tree roots will grow around that gas line yep so, again, so the whole time he's pulling, pulling i'm keeping an eye on everything going back to pulling extremely slow you'll feel that gas line right out of there with the tree roots sometimes this is just a Don't labor of love deep. between operator and labor and labor right now to be honest with you is the most crucial part of the job it 
And this is a slow and tedious process. How far are we? Do you have a timer on there? Just touch your screen. 10 minutes. Yeah, so we're 10 minutes in and we've only got this much exposed. That's okay. This is not a race to the finish situation. Don't, don't rip that tree root yet. I haven't checked that. How deep are we? You're probably, you're probably about 14 inches. 14 inches in 10 minutes. In 10 minutes. Now this is an exception because we got a bunch of tree roots, but still, this is not gonna be a super quick process exposing utilities. Because when you go fast, that's when you hit it. All right, go ahead and give me a little more. just comes a certain point guys when you're starting to get around that two foot mark when it should be about two foot you just find it at that point with the shovel if you see flags and you're digging and you're digging it's there somewhere don't give up don't make a rash decision of we're deep enough and continue on with your day you got utilities that need to be found need to get exposed uh, a lot of people get hurt by just not paying attention not doing their job we're all here as a group effort even with the power companies to the gas companies to the Comcast fiber companies we're kind of all in it together, building relationships with these guys. Over time, they get to know who you are, and uh, sometimes they'll just run right out, give you a quick hand on finding something, uh, re-flagging, re-staking. But you don't want to hurt nobody. We don't want to do any damage, control, not looking to shut a house down, deal with consumers. Just do your job. This is part of it. There it is. Looks like Brian found it. Let me see your camera. Here you go, guys. This is what all of our hard work got us. That guy right there is your gas line. There's your tracer wire. And as you can see, like I said, about the size of your pinky finger, we would have ripped right through that. Yet, because we dug safely, took our time, we didn't have to worry about it. So that's what we got for today. That's how you expose utilities. We are 15 minutes deep to dig that hole. It's worth your time. Don't force it, don't make it happen. Just take your time, expose your utilities. So that's all we got for today. Oh, if that, yeah, it's probably half inch. So that's all we got for today. You guys have a good one. We'll catch you on the next Down and Dirty.